Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill, and I'm back with another toy review, and we are doing another throwback review, and it's Autobot Blaster from Generations, and this is a re-release of the Fall of Cybertron Soundwave. I don't have a Soundwave to compare this to. Yeah. That's the only letdown. But he rolls like rolling things should, and the gun can move with him, and he sl slides side to side because it was Cybertronian wheels, and you'll like shoot you down with that gun. Now we're going to get on to that's all there is to say for the vehicle mode. Let's get down to my little boom box mode I came up with for this guy. First things first, we're going to untab the legs. Rotate. Let's say, let's keep this part up. Rotate. And let's Flip this down, rotate, flip around the wheels, and I'm going to show off my fan mode, which is supposed to be Blaster's cassette mode, which is my fan mode for one. And here we got the Boombox mode. It's just like the Fall Cybertron sound wave option you could do, but he doesn't stand very well on his own. Yeah. Unless you do some serious adjusting, then he's perfect. Now we're going to get down to the robot mode, which is very simple. Flip out the legs, rotate, turn around the joints, flip up the heels, rotate Keep the wheels, the main wheels as they are. Flip up the arms. Accordion this up. Fold out the arms like so. Straighten them out. Second verse, just like the first. Pull this hinge up, which on my copy it's a bit stubborn. Flip in this panel. Flip out his fists, which can be a little bit tricky. I like to use the gun to pull the fist out, like so. And there we got a fist all ready to go. Second verse, just like the first. Flip back these wheels. Put Use the blaster to pull out the hand. And finally, we're going to get to the backpack. We're going to... Push this all the way up and down. Flip back the wheels, and here we have Blaster in his robot mode, which looks pretty incredible. I dig this. Given this is my first Blaster, and I never got around to getting the Titans Return version, he is spectacular. But wait, there's more. If you press the thing on his, press his button, he's got his old buddy Steeljaw ready to come into play. And it's the same disc system as Soundwave. So, we're going to pull that down, rotate the legs down, second verse, just like the first. And here we have him with... None other than his partner, good old Steeljaw from Generations. And this is a reissue of the Ravage from the Fall of Cybertron sound wave. And this part likes to come popping loose a lot. But there we have Blaster in his robot mode. Very impressive figure, if I do say so myself. I love this blaster figure. It's better 
Better than most figures, I'd like to say. I wish the head was on a ball joint, but it is on a swivel, so you can look in that way, this way, if you want. Arms are on a hinge, so you can probably get some di not much dynamic posings. You can probably get him like this, and he's like like this. Uh, yeah, it's a thing you can do with posing. And all in all, this is an incredible figure. You're probably wondering, how much did I pay for this? Probably $20 at one point. I got this a way long time ago. From Monroeville Still City Con. Maybe several. Three or four. Maybe five years ago. I'm not sure. Maybe you can find this for a good price on eBay. Maybe Amazon. And that's all there is to say. For our buddy Blaster. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out.